For quite a while, people have envisioned what life might be like in other universes. On account of the James Webb Space Telescope, the most remarkable telescope in existence, that question can at long last be investigated. While observing the nearest star system to us, Proxima Centauri, which is just four light years away, researchers have noticed some exceptional oddities from one of the planets in the system, Proxima b. These peculiarities, called fake lights, have perplexed the best minds in astrophysics. However, what are they? Do these lights suggest the presence of intelligent life on the planet? Join us as we explore the James Webb's alarming discovery of city lights that could change everything. The only life that we are currently aware of is on Earth. From the beginning of human civilization, people have questioned whether there is life somewhere else in the universe. To complete such an interstellar hunt, American cosmologists Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson launched the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, SETI, project in 1984. This charitable goal aims to assemble space-borne radio transmissions. Radio waves can travel farther and are, therefore, more likely to be identified by the 42 radio telescopes that make up the exceptional Allen Telescope Array in the Californian Overflow Mountains. However, in the past 30 years, no obvious alien signal has been found. Following this, the James Webb Space Telescope's successful launch boosted the journey to examine a wide range of unseen planets circling distant stars. As the largest telescope in the world, drifting approximately one million miles from Earth and equipped with incredibly sensitive detectors, it has the potential to uncover huge discoveries. Twenty years ago, there were no known planets outside our solar system. However, since then, more than 4,000 exoplanets have been found circling different stars. According to NASA, the universe may contain trillions of exoplanets. The earliest indications of life beyond our solar system might come from detecting extraterrestrial vegetation. For example, the Galileo spacecraft en route to Jupiter turned its instruments back toward Earth and observed a clear sign of vegetation using the Vegetation Red Edge VRE, biosignature a mix of red and infrared light reflected by plants. A planet like Earth, covered in wilderness, ought to have a strong VRE signal that is easily identifiable. The JWST will measure the VRE of faraway Earth-like planets in the habitable zone around stars, providing significant indications of life in these exoplanetary environments. When sunlight crosses a planet star, the JWST might be able to identify it as it enters the planet's atmosphere. Missing frequencies can then be detected through spectroscopy, as molecules and atoms in the air absorb specific frequencies, creating a characteristic fingerprint that the JWST can recognize. This technique may determine the atmosphere's composition and whether life is possible. Earth-sized planets with climates similar to our own, characterized by oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide, could support life. By searching for elements that are not typically present, intelligent life might be identified. For example, chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, used in refrigeration and cleaning products, would likely be recognizable to outsiders monitoring Earth's atmosphere from afar. If the JWST found CFCs in the atmosphere of other planets, it would be a clear sign of technological progress. However, life on exoplanets may not resemble life on Earth. Extremophiles, Organisms that thrive in extreme environments such as high heat or acidity could exist on planets with conditions where other life forms would perish. Since planets like Earth are more likely to support life, the search often focuses on those with temperatures that allow liquid water and stable orbits around their stars. While our Sun is a yellow G-type star, red dwarf stars, which are more common, offer longer lifespans, increasing the likelihood of life evolving. The TRAPPIST-1 system, about 40 light-years away, is a prime target. It features a quiet red dwarf star and seven Earth-sized rocky planets, three of which are in the habitable zone and could support liquid water. Closer to home, the Proxima Centauri system offers intriguing possibilities. Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star 4.25 light-years from the Sun, and its planet, Proxima b, lies within the habitable zone. However, Proxima b's conditions are challenging. The planet is tidally locked, 
meaning one side always faces the star while the other remains in darkness. This creates extreme temperature differences, and the lack of a robust atmosphere or magnetic field could make life difficult. Despite these harsh conditions, Proxima b could still surprise us. The presence of an atmosphere might suggest oceans and, potentially, life. Solar panels covering the day side could generate energy to sustain a civilization, even in such an environment. The JWST's ability to detect artificial lighting or specific atmospheric compositions makes it a groundbreaking tool in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. By studying planets like Proxima b or those in systems like TRAPPIST-1, scientists are pushing the boundaries of our understanding, inching closer to answering the age-old question. Are we alone in the universe? The discovery of Proxima b and similar exoplanets has sparked a race to uncover more about these distant worlds. Researchers aim to determine whether Proxima b crosses its star's face as seen from Earth, a transit event. Such transits allow scientists to measure a planet's size and mass, enabling estimates of its density and confirming its rocky composition. This also provides clues about the planet's materials, revealing information about its geological makeup. During a transit, starlight passing through the planet's atmosphere can disclose its composition through spectral analysis. However, the odds of Proxima b's orbit aligning perfectly for us to observe a transit are only 1.5%. Further complicating matters, Proxima Centauri is an unstable star prone to intense flares, which emit bursts of high-energy particles. These flares could strip away Proxima b's atmosphere unless the planet has a strong magnetic field, as Earth does. Cosmologist David Kipping of Columbia University notes the difficulty of studying such a volatile star system. Even so, Proxima b remains a key target for exploration due to its proximity and potential habitability. Infrared observations from the James Webb Space Telescope offer a critical advantage in studying Proxima b. Unlike visible light, which is overwhelmed by the brightness of stars, infrared radiation from rocky planets is distinct and easier to detect. The JWST was specifically designed to study infrared light, making it ideal for identifying features such as Proxima b's potential atmosphere or artificial lighting. If Proxima b's night side is illuminated by city lights, even faint ones, the JWST could detect these artificial signals. Similarly, reflective solar panels on the day side could signal technological activity. Understanding Proxima b's environment requires evaluating its temperature differences. A bare rocky planet with no atmosphere would have stark contrasts between its day and night sides, the day side scorching and the night side frozen. However, if Proxima b has air or water that circulates heat, the temperature differences would be less extreme, suggesting a more hospitable environment. An atmosphere would also provide clues about the planet's habitability, as it could trap heat, support water, and sustain life. Beyond Proxima b, the future of space exploration holds immense promise. The JWST's advanced technology enables scientists to study distant exoplanets in unprecedented detail, analyzing their atmospheres for biosignatures, gases or chemical patterns indicative of life. Key biosignatures include oxygen, methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor, which are essential for life as we know it. Their detection in a planet's atmosphere could hint at biological processes, offering the first evidence of extraterrestrial life. However, interpreting biosignatures is challenging. Many of these gases can also result from non-biological processes. For instance, methane might originate from geological activity, and oxygen could be produced by photochemical reactions. Additionally, factors like magnetic fields, geological activity, and stellar radiation influence a planet's ability to sustain life. Thus, while detecting biosignatures is a significant milestone, it does not guarantee the presence of life. Another challenge lies in isolating exoplanet signals from the overwhelming brightness of their parent stars. Advanced techniques, such as coronagraphs or starshades, are being developed to block starlight and enhance the visibility of planets. These innovations, combined with the JWST's capabilities, bring scientists closer to identifying planets with conditions suitable for life. The quest to uncover extraterrestrial life is not just about answering philosophical questions, 
It has profound implications for humanity. Discovering intelligent civilizations or even microbial life would reshape our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Each step, from detecting biosignatures to analyzing atmospheric compositions, brings us closer to answering one of humanity's most profound questions. Are we truly alone in the cosmos?